Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation by taking the square root. So the very first thing what we're going to do is we want to get rid of this negative 3 by adding 3 on both sides. So this negative 3 and positive 3 they are gone. So 5x plus 2 square on the left hand side equals to 9. The next thing what we want to do is we want to get rid of this square by taking the square root on this side and in this side as well. This square and square root they undo each other. We got 5x plus 2 turns out to be a positive or negative square root of 9 is 3. The next thing is we want to subtract 2 from both sides. So this is gone. So we got 5x equals to negative 2 plus or minus 3. And finally we want to divide both sides by 5. So this 5 and 5 they are gone. So x turns out to be equal to negative 2 plus or minus 3 over 5. So what we're going to do is next we want to split them up along these two signs, positive and negative sign. So first is going to be a negative 2 plus 3 over 5 and the other side is going to be a negative 2 minus 3 over 5. So that's going to give you 1 over 5. So x equal to 1 over 5 is one of our solutions. Here we're going to give you negative 5 over 5 means x equal to negative 1 is our another solution. Thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 1 and 1 fifth. Let's go ahead and do one more example. This time we're going to be solving this equation. So we want to get rid of this positive one by just taking negative one on both sides. We can get rid of it. So this negative one and positive one, this is gone. We got 4 times x minus 2 square turns out to be 20. So far so good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to simply so divide both sides by 4. So this 4 and 4 they are gone. So we ended up simply by x minus 2 square turns out to be 5. Now what we want to do is we want to take the square root on both sides to get rid of this square and we want to take the square root on this side as well. So this square and square root, they are gone. Simply we ended up with x minus 2 equal to positive or negative square root of 5. Now we want to isolate x. We need to add 2 on both sides. So simply this is gone. So x turns out to be equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 5 and that is our solution. So thus our solution set is going to be if we split it up we can say 2 plus square root of 5 and 2 minus square root of 5. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.